Um, but we had a good church service today and just feel super, you know, just rejuvenated and revived. And um, yeah, just just excited about what um, God is doing and going to be doing in the next year. So definitely um, excited for, you know, what's to come. So, um, but yeah, so we're just, <laughs> why are you looking <laughs> We were just talking about how I was telling my daughter that I'm very, I'm much so, because people comment, you know, been commenting about how they, you know, like my daughter and like her personality and things like that. And I tell her that too. Um, but I told her that I have a very calm and very quiet type of personality. I'm very just serious sometimes, but she's totally opposite from me. So I told her she brings out the best in me. And, um, I think that I think that's a good thing, you know, because as adults, we sometimes, you know, we get very, we just get very, just complacent and just very serious sometimes, and we forget to you just have fun and just to, you know, in some ways, be a kid. Not saying that adults should be kids, but we should have that playful, that kid-like um, sort of mentality and outlook sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes, um, it's good to have like a childlike kind of a, kind of a just I don't know just attitude sometimes with when it comes to things because we as adults take things so seriously sometimes and I think that's what makes us uh can make us difficult to be around is when we just you know we don't you know we just take things too personal and that's really what's wrong with this world now is people take things too personal and everything is just a big to do and we just don't know how to just have fun. And, you know, and I try, I like to have fun. I'm a very adventurous person. And I like, um, I'm an adrenaline junkie too. So in ways I am sort of playful like that. But when it comes to a lot of things, I'm not. So anyway, I was telling my daughter that she brings out that goofy side of me. Because she really does. Because otherwise I would probably just be very <laughs> serious all the time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is my husband calling me now. So whenever we get to wherever we're going to eat, then, um, I'll share with you guys the food. Cause if you're a foodie like me, then you like, you like the food that I show. And it, sometimes it don't be looking good, but sometimes it is. So, all right. So we'll check in with you guys later. Uh oh, I just hung up on your dad. I just hung up on your dad. <laughs> talk about Christmas movies. So we are back and we're about to make some hot cocoa and eat a little bit of cookies and talk about some of like our favorite Christmas movies and also movies that I've just recently started watching that, you know, I recommend to you guys to watch. So, um, but yeah, so I have some milk on the stove. It's starting to heat up. And then we also got some cookies from Publix and these look so good y'all. Like, oh my God, these look so good. Like I'm going to have to contain myself. You want to get one? And let's try it out and see. These are so good. They look good. They look good. Yeah, they do. Okay. Mmm. 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 It's so good. Mmm. -hmm. so good. Mmm. -hmm. We carrying on too much. Okay. So you want to go with what movie you like? Which one do you like? I'll, uh, I'll the whole list on there. Mm-hmm. We it, have a list, so we're just going to go down the list. It has to be Home Alone. 
Home I Alone. love Home Alone. Mm. One and two? Yeah, both yeah. of them. Yeah. Those are, those are just the classics, right? Like, you can't have a Christmas without watching Home Alone 1 and 2. I think the second one is probably my favorite, the one where they go to New York. Or he goes to New York, I should say. That's probably my favorite, but I'm sure everybody has seen Home Alone. So, but that's just, we're going to talk about our favorite ones and then some new ones that I recommend that I've watched. So, but yeah, Home Alone 1 and 2. Definitely on the top top five. And then for me, it'll be the holiday. I don't know if anybody's seen that one. But it stars Cameron Diaz and Jude Law. I think it was filmed in two or uh, came out in two thousand six, so it's been out for a while, but it's just such a cute movie. And I think I stumbled upon it in twenty twenty. That was my first time watching it and I absolutely love it. I watch it every year. Sometimes I, I watch it even when it's not Christmas. But just such a cute a cute little love story type of a movie and it's set around the christmas time in the uk well part of it is in the uk and part of it is in la but anyway it's just a cute little movie little you know like a little romantic comedy for anybody that's into romantic comedy so um and then the next one is what which is the one that you like my second one has to be elf Oh, it's a really yeah. funny movie. Mm -hmm. And I like watching it. Yeah, that one is... Let's turn off the milk. We have some milk going, so I'm going to have to turn that off before it starts burning up. And give it time to kind of cool off. Um, but yeah, Elf. That's what Will Ferrell in it. Um, and that was a classic too. I, like I said, I don't know many people that haven't seen the Elf, but that's a cute little movie too. It's not romantic. I think it's more like a kid not like a kid Maybe movie, like so. Maybe like a comedy. It's a comedy, yeah. It's a comedy. I think anything with Will Ferrell in it, it's a comedy, so. But yeah, Elf is a cute one. Um, I'm trying to tell you, figure out where a lot of these movies you can see them at. I think Home Alone 1 and 2. I tried to look it up and see where you guys can find these movies and watch them. Home Alone 1 and 2, I think I saw that it's on Disney+. Plus. Prime video if you have Amazon Prime and then I think it's also on Hulu. I don't know if you have to pay to watch it on any of those plat any of those, you know, platforms. I think if you have Disney Plus it's free. Prime video is obviously free. I don't know. If you have Hulu, obviously it's free, but if you don't have any of those um subscription services, it's probably gonna cost you unless they give you like a free trial or something. But yeah, Home Alone one and two are on those platforms and then the holiday, I don't know where it is, but I bought it. And it's on YouTube, so if you want to look it up on YouTube, I think you may have to buy it or you might be able to rent it. But yeah, the holiday is on YouTube. But then Elf, I think it's on HBO Max. Did you see where you can watch Elf at? I think it's on the uh, HBO Max. HBO? Mm hmm Yeah. And then... I think it, hmm? it might be on Disney+. Plus. I, it might be. Mm hmm I think it is, but... I'm going to have to double check that one, but it's, I think it's on Disney+. Plus. Okay. And then, next one that I like is The Best Man Holiday. That's also like a romantic comedy type of a movie. More um, centered around, you know, African Americans. So, if you like black excellence, then I think that's a good one. And they actually have a new show out on, um, I think on Peacock. Peacock, yeah. Called, Best, uh, what is it, Best Man family reunion whatever. no you were trying to get mm -mm. Not family reunion. best man new final chapter final chapters yeah you were trying to make me look it up you know yeah i was trying so, to find that on peacock yeah. so yeah i think you can watch the best man holiday on peacock as well but i think it's also on prime video and then what's the next one mm, for me well on the kids part mm -hmm. jingle jangle which jingle is, jangle which yeah. is the one that we're gonna be watching today yeah we're gonna watch that one tonight actually um, but that was a cute little movie. It's more like a musical. I think it came out in 2020. Um, I think Felicia Rashad is in that one. I'm trying to think who else is in that. Um, but anyway, it's a cute little kids movie as well. It's um, like a musical. And if you like musicals and things like that, it's a family movie too. Um, I think that's a cute one to watch, um, for families and, you know, especially families that like musicals. So, um, and then the next one for you is what? The Grinch, right? Oh yeah, the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yeah, how the Grinch 
Soul Christmas. Oh, by the way, Jingle Jangle is on Netflix. Um, if you have a Netflix subscription. And then How, to Gr How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I think I it. saw it was on Hulu and also Prime Video, huh? I also went and buy it. Um, Do what? You also have to rent and buy it. You have something. to rent and buy it on mm -hmm. what? Did you find well, it? Not to, I tried to look it up, but not to rent or buy it. Okay. So, yeah, I think How the Grinch Stole Christmas, you can find that on Hulu or Prime Video. Or you can just Google any of these and see where you can actually find these to watch. And then the next one would be, the next ones are all the ones that I recommend. And they're not, like, popular movies, so... Um, yeah, but these are just movies if you ha want to watch something new and you haven't, you know, seen any of these or you've seen all the movies that I just mentioned and you want to find some new ones. Um, so the first one is called A Match Made at Christmas and this is free actually on YouTube and I think it's a Hallmark movie. I'm not sure, but I watched it and it was really cute. It's, it's kind of cheesy, but not really. It's kind of like a message behind it and it kind of made me cry a little bit, which is weird. It's very, very weird. Yeah made me cry a little bit it's like a it's about friendship and it's about this um lady and this lady this girl's aunt who is like a matchmaker and she is spot on with everybody that she puts together anyway i'm not even gonna give, give it away but it is a cute little uh like romantic comedy it's not really that funny but it's definitely a romantic movie and i think it's worth worth a watch if you're into like hallmark type ish movies um, but yeah, so it's free on YouTube and then Operation Christmas Drop. This is on Netflix and this is with Kat Graham. She was, um, she played in the Vampire Diaries if you guys are familiar with her. And it's a cute little, you know, Christmassy movie as well. It has a good little message behind it and it's set in like a tropical area, but it's around the Christmas holiday time. So, um, it's a cute little movie if you kind of want to get an escape from all the snow, you know, because most Christmas movies is, is centered around snow and, you know, the, the winter weather. So, but this is set more so in a tropical area. So if you kind of want to get an escape from, you know, the cold and dreary weather and you want to see like some tropicalness, then yeah, that's a cute little movie. But yes, yeah, so again, a little romantic comedy. And then the next one is Falling for Christmas. This one is um, with Lindsay Lohan in it. It's a new one. This just came out. It's on Netflix. I mean, it's not, it's very cheesy. I'm just going to put it out there, but I watched it just because of Lindsay Lohan. I, you know, she, I guess it's like her comeback because she hasn't done a movie. I don't know how long. So I was just curious to see how she was going to do in it. And she does pretty good in it. I mean, it's, it's definitely something that I wouldn't expect, wouldn't have expected her to be in, but she did really good in it. I saw um, you watch that too. You did? Yeah, I saw it. I yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like Hallmark vibes. So I was kind of a little, I was kind of a little, you know, shocked that it was on Netflix. I don't know. Netflix sometimes can have those hall Hallmarky movies, but it was a cute little movie uh, worth watching if you just want to watch something new. And then the last one, this one is not new. Um, I found this one on YouTube as well, and it's free. And it's called Nothing Like the Holidays. And this one is funny. This was definitely a funny movie. It's not really romantic, more so on the funny side. And um, John Leguizamo, I think that's how you say his name. He's Italian. It's about an Italian family and the struggles and the things that they deal with around the holidays. And it's just a cute movie, something that I think everybody can relate to, especially if you have a big family and y'all have issues, then, you know, it's just a very relatable type movie, you know, um, as opposed to some of the other ones that's kind of out there but this one is probably the most relatable I feel like because like I said if you have a family and y'all deal with issues and stuff like that around Christmas and yeah it's, it's just a cute funny movie I definitely laughed my butt off when I watched it so but yeah that's it um I hope that you know you guys got some kind of inspiration and also you know what tell me what movies that you guys recommend to watch um that is that's like Christmas related so that I can Put that on my list to watch because at this point i think i've watched every christmas movie but i'm sure i haven't but you guys let me know like what movies that you guys recommend that i see whether it be you know just adults a movie just for like me or like you know movies for you know families that kids can watch too so let me know down in the comments what you guys recommend so i, I think we hmm? forgot we forgot movies we forgot hmm? movies what okay. movie? so we forgot the christmas chronicles one and two Oh, Christmas I haven't Chronicles. seen that one. Yeah. You like that? Because when you did my, when you were doing my hair, I was mm -hmm. watching it with you. Oh. Yeah, the Christmas Chronicles. Yeah. Oh, we have to watch that one. So you recommend that one, the Christmas yeah. Chronicles? Yeah, it was okay. really good. One, the first one and the second one. Okay. 
Oh, that's also on the list if you haven't seen that. So, all right, cool. All right, so that is our Christmas movies. Now we're gonna get to making this hot chocolate before our milk gets cold. So we'll see how this is gonna taste. taste it and see how it tastes oh. mm. it's pretty good huh oh. it's very sweet yeah. thumbs up so what I did is just I just heated up some almond milk because I don't too much like like the regular you know cow's milk the vitamin yeah i don't like that kind of milk i don't know i just don't really like it anymore and plus we're just used to the almond milk so i heated up some almond milk and then i just put in a, some little chocolate chips some white chocolate chips just to add a little bit more um just chocolateness to the cho hot chocolate and then we put on some whipped cream and some little sprinkles and that's it right that's good Mm. We are on a sugar high right now, so. All right, guys, so we're gonna continue to enjoy our hot cocoa, and then we are going to eat the rest of our little sweets and watch a little bit of some Christmas movies before it's time to go to bed, so. All right, so thank you guys for coming along with us today, uh, for coming to church with us, and just hanging out with us, and just, you know, enjoying the day, so. Um, it was a very rainy day, so we just try to make the best of it. You know, you just have to make the best out of a situation. So, um, but yeah, so we're gonna get ready to go and continue to um, enjoy our hot cocoa and watch some Christmas movies, like I said. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys. Bye.